um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but video mountains, game mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you <laughs> climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and oh continents, you know, you can see oceans. So it's just like an open world planet kind of thing? Yeah, I mean, the first real open world. This video brought to you in part by the Patreon supporters of Cobra TV. What is going on, guys? Thank you so much for coming back to Cobra TV. And when I seen this, I ran to the computer. I did not walk. I ran to the computer. Light no fire. We're going to try and make this video as quick as possible. And if we get at least, uh, I don't know, 200 likes on this video, we'll do a serious trailer breakdown. Um, but Hello Games is at it again, ladies and gentlemen. And this looks freaking amazing as you know we uh, talk about games ambitious games here on the channel that are in development uh we covered no man's sky since 2014 um all the way up until 2019 uh and now we're covering star citizen which is another ambitious game in development but this right here is uh at said by Sean Murray to even be more ambitious than no man's sky we are talking about a planet the size of earth uh populated with us on a medieval adventure with magic and and you know rabbits walking around teenage mutant ninja rabbits um it's gonna be really cool so let's dive into it real quick um and then i got a little couple things to say at the end for you know some of the people like i'll believe it when i see it kind of stuff like that so we'll i'll, I'll address some of that at the end but for right now let's take a look at this and if we get 200 likes, we'll do a big trailer breakdown, a closer look, just like we used to do back in the olden days with the No Man's Sky trailers and update trailers and stuff like that. But light, no fire. We're going to take a look at the trailer here real quick, and then uh, we'll, we'll discuss it. We'll go to the uh, Steam page. We'll read about it. Uh, let's check it out. Look at that. Oh, it looks very No Man's Sky-ish. Holy crap, is that bringing... Look, I've got people bumps all over me. I've got people bumps. That right there, this shot right here is probably hand-picked and chosen. I won't pause it again after this. Hand-picked and chosen because that is so reminiscent of one of the, uh, the ocean shots from the first No Man's Sky trailer. That is beautiful. All right, let's watch it straight through. Just like the old trailer. Goosebumps. I haven't had goosebumps watching a freaking trailer in such a long time. Oh my gosh. All right, let's read about the game uh here real quick. Let's um I, I don't know how we get back out of the 
let's see. Let's okay. We don't need to skip the trailer. Um, so light no fire is a game about adventure, building, survival, and exploration together, set on a fantasy planet the size of Earth, and it brings depth of a role-playing game to the freedom of a uh, survival sandbox. Uh, we've already seen the trailer there. Um, look at those rabbits, man. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's take a look at the Steam page here. It does have a Steam page. Uh, let's read here. It says, Light No Fire is a game about uh, adventure building survival exploration together. Uh, I believe we just read that. A multiplayer Earth. A multiplayer Earth. Uh, carve a life together. Meet players from across the globe. Build a life. Explore and survive together. Uh, construct persistent, um, pres uh, persistent buildings and communities. Or strike out alone to discover the world for others. Uh, procedural Earth, a truly open world with no boundaries at a scale never attempted before. Listen to that. At a scale never attempted before. Uh, a massively varied and dense planet filled with immersive biomes, unique enemies, and valuable resources to discover. Uh, a fantasy Earth, light no fire present you with an ancient earth to uncover one where you where you're not the hero uh you're just a you know, character in the backdrop uh it is thick with lore yes we know no man's sky hello games is very good with lore um probably <laughs> now i it, it's among the best right they're among the best with uh filling their games with lore to uncover and discover through exploration uh mystery and consistent uh fight for survival Inspired by uh, the adventure, um, charm, and imagination that we love from classic fantasy. Uh, an unexplored earth. Every mountain can be climbed, and below them lies an en endless vistas, oceans, continents, perhaps uh, no others have seen. Uh, who will climb the tallest um, mountains? Who will find the deepest sea? Uh, set sail across the vast ocean. I am freaking. I am. I'm crying right now. I think. Uh, and uh, and rivers, uh, ride wild beasts through fantastical landscapes. Fly dragons over undiscovered landscapes. So the size of Earth. Why would it need to be like? Why? Why would you need a game the size of Earth, dude? Why not? And uh, you, you, places that you'd never see uh, can be explored. You know what I mean? Like different. And obviously, we've got different biomes. Uh, a long time ago, I, I don't know when it was. I think it was right after the release of No Man's Sky. Sean Murray was asked. Um, here's what he was asked. He was asked, what's next for Hello Games? What What's the next game you're going to work on? Sean Murray didn't really answer him. Uh, but he did. I tried looking for the interview. I can't find it. It's on my old PC because I remember clipping it and keeping it on there. But Sean Murray said, we're not really thinking about what's what next game we're going to be working on. We're focusing on uh, uh, continuing the development of No Man's Sky. Um, and uh, he said, but what I always wanted, what I want to do, you know, what I've always wanted to do is create an RPG game, as you see here. Uh, and make it four by, you know, four kilometers, uh, 4,000 kilometers by 4,000 kilometers. Um, and uh, use the procedural generation tools that we have created for No Man's Sky and use that content to populate that. He said, I think that would be really cool. And it looks like he actually went for it. Uh, he went right for the neck for, uh, of that idea and just, and did it. He, uh, we're going to take a look at um, what he said. Real quick at the uh, at the uh, game awards, um, and we're going to see uh, him actually state that he they've been working on this for the past five years. Uh, but I think yeah, about, about the past five years. I remember when they announced after what was it next that they were officially working on something that was more ambitious than No Man's Sky. Let's take a look at uh, what he had to say during the um, the announcement of this at the Game Awards. That right there was No Man's Sky, a game we announced 
10 years ago with this guy right here, Sean Murray. Sean, uh, looks like the content keeps rolling. I, I want that shirt, by the way. Rolling in 2024. But what does the next decade look like for Hello Games? Well, to start with, uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working. Next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. <laughs> it ain't over, folks. I mean, it's the gift that keeps on giving. The good kind. I'd like to play something really quick for you because there's probably some skeptics out there. You know, Sean Murray has done big talk before about his game No Man's Sky early on. Uh, but very early on, too. He did warn you that it was not going to be complete uh, when the game shipped. He knew that he had these big visions for No Man's Sky. Um, and he was talking about all these things that you could do. And he stops himself in one interview and he warns everybody that it's not going to be all possible when a game is done. Um, uh, when a game ships, actually. That they're going to be working out for a very long time. And this is going to be leading to a point to something that Sean Murray says at the Game Awards. Uh, so listen to this real quick. A fighter and a pirate or a bounty hunter or whatever. But loads of those things are possible. Not everything is possible. Um, and when we ship the game, not everything will be possible. But this is a game I think we're going to be making for quite a while. You know, even after it comes out. So right there, this is, not everything's going to be possible when the game ships, but he believes that this is going to be a game they're going to be working on for a long time, even after it comes out. Um, so he was very ambitious about talking about the um, talking about the idea of No Man's Sky, um, and uh, he he knew deep down in inside that it was not going to be done. He told people on GameSpot. Uh, and here's, here's where he makes a self-aware comment about knowing his, uh, his ability to be able to speak about what he can deliver at that specific time and not talk about the project's end goal. Uh, and this is going to have an impact on covering uh, Light No Fire. Uh, but here he is talking about at the fact about that fact. I don't know if we're, good. we're good at making games, right? Uh, we're definitely better at that than talking about it, right? And I think, you know, there's a real hunger in the community to know everything that we're doing and have a complete roadmap and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, you know, we will reward their patience of not having much info with just good, solid content, right? And we only like to talk about things when they are right, when we are super happy with them, right? When we know they can't possibly change. So, you know, uh, I, I really like making games. I don't necessarily love talking about making games. <laughs> okay, all right, so there you go. Uh, that's his new personal policy going forward that uh, he doesn't really want to talk about anything until he knows that he has something uh, solid to share uh, that is not going to change. All right, that is for what the lesson that he's learned from um, from before. So if he's on stage here talking about light no fire, what you can see definitely is is you know you've seen what No Man's Sky looks like today. Looks beautiful. Looks great. And you can see the very similarity uh, uh, similarities in light no fire. So obviously it is playable. Um, so I think we're good to go. I think it's it's okay to get get excited. Um, for all you people out there that are on the fence, I've never been on the fence with No Man's Sky. I've never been on the fence with Hello Games. Uh, consistent all the way through, but let's listen. Been on it for ten years now, and I still really love it. Still really enjoy it. But what people don't know is that for the last five years, we've been working on something new. Oh, uh, another game. Yeah, something very different. Something maybe more ambitious. Um, you know, for. <laughs> Uh, Here we go. <laughs> More ambitious. <laughs> Tell us a bit about it, Sean. Uh, well, for No Man's Sky, we generated a whole universe of kind of sparse, alien-looking planets. And that wasn't easy. You know, it was hard. But there is something that's much harder that we wanted to do. Uh, for our new game, we wanted to create an Earth, um, you know, something as varied, a planet that is as varied as a universe, something bigger than Earth, something with, you know, mountains, real mountains, not video game mountains, but video mountains, game mountains that are miles high, taller than Everest, that when you <laughs> climb to the top of them and look out, you can see rivers and canyons and oh continents, you know, you can see oceans. So is this like an open world planet kind of thing? 
yeah, I mean, the first real open world, right? Something without boundaries. Uh, and we're going to let everyone play in it together. It's, you know, a place where people can live out their sort of adventures together. <clears throat> well, we can't wait to uh, take a look at it. We, we have anything tonight or future? Or? <laughs> yeah, so, so we have a trailer. Oh. Um, and, you know, it's quite a small team that's working on us. Yeah. There's about a dozen of us. We're, actually, everyone's here. The, the, everyone from the team is here. Uh, we're, s uh, we're very excited <laughs> to share this. You and I have been talking about this one for years. Yeah, we're, we're super nervous, you know, but uh, really excited if, you know, if people like it. This is a game I would like to still be updating 10 years from now. All right, so Game Awards 2033. <laughs> We'll be so you've just heard a very similar comment uh, that he did at GameSpot. I, I believe we're going to be working on this game long after it comes out. Very similar comment, but I think you could relate that more to the kind of updates that we have received from No Man's Sky. The free updates, the beautiful, majorly packed updates, uh, one right after another oh, throughout the years, ever since 2016. I uh, look at uh, this game, Light No Fire, being the, exactly the same way. Uh, beautiful, big, major packed updates for Light No Fire. This is a game, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be with us for a freaking long, long time. As you heard him say right there, uh, he said something to the effect of not video game mountains. Mountains. A miles high, grand, uh, you know, like uh, Mount Everest uh, type mountains, uh, canyons like, uh, you know, gr the Grand Canyon, uh, big things, and Earth. Uh, he even used the term bigger than Earth, I, I think, when he just said something there. Uh, and uh, he said, we're going to let everybody play in it. Now, I don't know the specifics here. I don't know if it's going to be a shared planet. I, I don't know how you could have uh like everybody i don't know how many people if you're gonna have an earth that big and you said that we're gonna let everybody play in it together um how many people are are we're gonna be able to be in a server at the same time or is everybody get, i don't know how he's gonna do that uh kind of sounds like the same sort of speech uh from dual universe um but it's maybe maybe sean murray's got something up his sleeve I don't know as far as server technology. Who knows? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and find out how that's going to play into it. It'd be a beautiful, beautiful dream come true if everybody who played Light No Fire could be on the same planet at the same time. But I don't know if that's uh, feasible. But we'll see. We'll see how it all could play into it. Um, I'm excited about this. 200 likes on this video and we will do a trailer breakdown go through just like we used to do back in the good old days uh with the closer look no man's sky cobra tv a closer look um but uh yes uh, i love uh, ambitious titles i love star citizen no man's sky and i already know that light no fire is gonna be one of my one of my top two games <laughs> that I am going to be absolutely in love with. Um, is there interest for subcast for this show? I don't know. If you're, if you're interested for a subcast, uh, if you, if you're an OG Cobra TV, uh, person, then you know what a subcast is. If you're brand new, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe check, uh, some of the uh, library in my YouTube videos out. Uh, but, uh, maybe this, this th dude, Dude, I'm excited. I'm going to end the video. I took taking too much of your time. Um, but thank you, guys. Love you. You rock. Until next time.